Hello guys, what's going on? It's Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a scrolling uh, game and tiles. Now, if you wonder what I mean by tiles, you're going to see as I do the video. All we're going to do quickly is change the frame width to be a thousand, I think. Yeah, let's change it to be a thousand. Now, just to show you what's going to happen here, we're going to just create, create quickly create a blue square and just put to this line here that's all we're going to do and then on the other side we're going to create an orange square now for any of you who don't know this line here this represents the right edge of the frame this one here is the left edge anything in inside this box between this edge and this edge and these top edges is in your view this can be changed but for now we're going to just leave it like this and anything out here can't be seen so we can't see that orange box when we spawn um, I can show you that there you can't see the orange box but we're going to be able to now all we're going to do is create an active double click and just set him to be green because that's going to be our character I'm going to change his movement to be platform not race car platform and we're going to double click and click a new create a new active and then all we're going to do is right click him and click create and click quick create clip sorry you can't speak click create quick backdrop delete and delete that other active now all we're going to do is double click into the quick backdrop and I'm going to show you what this does if we do that like that and then go green and then just set this half here to be like like a light green and then this half here to be a dark green there it repeats the tile over and over and over again forever so that's what how you do repeating tiles now what we do it all you can do to enlarge it is drag it out that's all you have to do and that'll repeat the tile and it'll just keep going until the end now to do scrollings, one second, we're just going to set its properties and runtime to be an obstacle, like that. Alright, so now we've done that, we're going to go, yeah, go to the event editor and do new condition, uh, character, collisions, backdrop, movement, stop, and then do new condition, and then under the cogs, always, and then go under the chessboard, storyboard controls, and then go scrollings, centre uh, position in window and then click your green active or your character, whatever colour he is uh, and then run the application now as you can see this scrolls so that orange box that we couldn't see anymore so now we're in the current frame if we just go to the frame here and then I'll show you this so what we can see here is this that to this line here and to this line here is what we can see but now if we move here now what we can see is these two this line and this line have moved to the right a bit so now the box would be instead of being there it would be more like there and that's how what we're seeing now and as you can see the repeated tile is still on the floor you can still move on it jump on it it's still the same all we've done is changed it to be a quick backdrop which repeats the object multiple times and yeah that's how we would do it the same for backgrounds, I mean if you wanted a background just create another quick backdrop, delete that and all we're going to do is uh, I think we'll make it just like a blue squiggly pattern, order it to the back so we don't have it in front of our grass. What we're going to do is we're going to just make it uh, like blue stripes and then we're just going to fill it in with purple like that and there that's that repeated all the way along and if we drag the it right out to the end there now there we go that's how you do repeating backgrounds obviously if you're making a Mario style game don't just draw squiggly lines and all sorts of rubbish on your game but yeah if you want if you just want a really bad looking squiggly background then go ahead do that but yeah that's how you do scrolling so uh, and repeating tiles so I've covered two things in one 
if you need a more in-depth tutorial to scrolling then I will do a few different things you can do with it or some it maybe especially if you want to do X and Y scrolling but yeah so thanks for watching guys I hope this tutorial's helped with whatever you try to do and I'll see you next time bye